Tonight, an alert for everyone who takes generic medications. Yeah, while they're normally cheaper than the name brands, you're unknowingly giving up the ability to sue if you run into any unforeseen complications with that medication. Something you didn't know. CBS 6 investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey spoke with a local woman who's impacted by this. And Jen, this is a big deal. More than 80% of Americans use generics. Yeah, exactly. And like you said, a lot of people don't even think about something like this. Most of us just take the drugs and, and if they work, they work. That's great. But we, but as we know, generic drug makers have to stick to the name brand formula. And since it's a formula they didn't develop, the Supreme Court has ruled they're not responsible if something goes wrong. Here's the real deal. Debbie has lasting effects from a drug reaction she suffered following a knee replacement. So I figured I'd come home, everything would be fine. But that's not what happened. She and her doctor say a generic pain medication caused renal failure. By the time she got back to the hospital, she was in serious condition. At that point, I had 1,177 liters of urine throughout my body. It, it was awful. I felt like I was, I was so bloated, I couldn't bend down to pick anything up. Uh, my legs, they ached, my ankles, um, I couldn't do the therapy. After months of recovering, Debbie brought her case to a lawyer. They said that you can't sue because it's a generic drug. It took six months of my life away. And uh, they just, no, you can't do it, you can't do it. That's because under federal law, generic drug makers are not allowed to change the safety warnings on their labels in response to new information about risks and side effects until after the name brand maker has done so. And even then, the change needs to be approved by the FDA. That creates a big window of time when patients may be taking the generic without updated health information. The FDA recently delayed a new rule that would change all that, requiring generic drug makers to independently update warnings. They they delayed that after getting major pushback from the generic drug industry, who argues it would increase the prices of generic medications by at least $4 billion a year. Debbie says she wouldn't mind paying a little extra for that peace of mind. It was a nightmare. A nightmare she doesn't want others to be a part of. Now, the generic drug industry says on top of the cost to update labels, the new rule would also create new liabilities. The FDA is expected to make its final ruling on that later this year. In the meantime, if you take generic medication, talk to your doctor and do some research on your own to see if the brand name maker has any updated information on possible health risks and side effects.